Um, I think, Lori, I just wanted to ask, I, I know we're, we're cutting a little long, so we'll try and, uh, and I want to make sure that we have an opportunity to answer questions. But I did want to ask you about, from a, the perspective of someone who's looked at this over a long period of time, from a chronic disease as well as a, a regulatory and a policy perspective, what, do you, what is it that you think that the healthcare, healthcare system needs from policy to make it, do, because we know what the interventions are, we know what we need to do, and yet we still seem to consistently fail, and for a variety of reasons, but we, the, fail, the failure and the difficulty in really achieving those goals continues. What do you think that would, would push us over um, into more action? And in fact, I'm gonna ask you that question mm -hmm. too, because I'm gonna... Um, think about that for a second <laughs> but uh, I guess what I would say is I mean you know the culture of I guess you know the umbrella of women's health and then infant health in Canada unfortunately and, and we probably hate to say it as Canadians is, is just not great um, you know we we've all said we you know most of the the average rates of initiation in our country are nine out of ten women so Everybody's here to support informed choice, whatever that choice is, but the reality is most women actually want to breastfeed, and these surveys have been done in all provinces, right across the country, numerous times. But by the time they leave hospital, you're probably at 60%. Um, and by the time six months comes, it might be 30% in Canada, and our province is 12%. I mean, the regional variations are just dramatic. Um, so one in 10 children are being exclusively breastfed in a country where we actually should have resources and support, but we actually don't. Um, so I think from a healthcare system perspective, and again, we, again, you get to a point where you kind of are doing research and you start to think, okay, what's gonna make the difference? Um, I mean, there's definitely a lack of training of healthcare professionals, and I'm specifically referring to physicians and nurses here at the moment. Uh, well, the lack of, I think, implementation of midwifery versus training. Mm -hmm. Um, and the same with lactation consultants. I think the training's there, but actually... Midwives don't get any... Most midwives in Canada have no lactation training. Okay, because we, we, well, we've just, uh, we were just about, we we're kind of just implementing midwifery in Newfoundland, and we've seen a vast difference in the hospitals where midwifery nice. is actually uh, being implemented versus others. Mm -hmm. um, so I think, despite training, they're obviously supportive. So I think that's probably a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, but in terms of expansion of midwifery across the country, I mean, that's something mm -hmm. I think a lot of provinces are actually challenging. Uh, increasing the number of lactation consultants. I think we have maybe less than 15 or 12 in Newfoundland and Labrador. Um, and we're dealing with a lot of your indigenous issues as well in Labrador as well. Um, I mean, working towards baby-friendly hospital initiative designation. Um, and for those that don't know, it's a designation of hospitals that are actually adhering to 10 steps of successful breastfeeding. Um, and it relates to all sorts of things, from antenatal education to what happens to a baby when, or a birthing mother in terms of skin to skin in the first hour of life to the promotion of breastfeeding before a mother leaves hospital, um, formula being only you know, given if it's indicated, almost medically, um, right through to community services. So without that sort of warm chain, we call it to a certain extent, um, you know, that holistic approach with all healthcare professionals working collaboratively collaboratively, uh, you know, I, I think it's going to be a challenge. I think we've somehow got to make it a priority. Um, and the health benefits, the economic benefits we've already referred to are enormous. Um, if we could only just focus on breastfeeding um, and increasing the breastfeeding rates in this Canada, we would actually solve a number of other problems. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you.